Clandestine oh, Live. Right. Clandestine Live. All right. Global Let's healing see. event. Welcome. Welcome. Look at this place. This place is Ladies huge. Ladies and gentlemen, can you give it up? Global healing event with Clandestine Live. We're sending out a signal. Energy. Energy and intent. Right? It's coming out through this camera, through these microphones, flying through space and time. Yes. That's well, right. we flew here in through space and time. To a cell tower. To the smartphone in your hand or the one on the wall in your in your house or in yeah. your office. How you feeling, man? On your tablet, that your must personal be, device. That, that must be wireless. Ladies dude. and gentlemen, clandestine live. That's all done oh, wirelessly. Wow. Everything he we said. Living wireless. We have a brand new song, a debut. We got a lot of debuts. Let's roll the wireless video. Wireless. We living wireless. <laughs> Are we feeling good? We live in wireless. We live in wireless. I'll be that person that doesn't exist. Got nothing to post, so just make up shit. I'll see your family and your friend or your friend. Oh, it's back to me, it's back to me, and there's a friend, there's 
a flame burning in your heart. There's a flame burning in your heart. There's a flame burning in your heart. There's a flame burning in your heart. In your heart. In your heart. Watch it, listen, pay my the kind. Let love in in your shop to fight. No longer can we ignore the reasons why our world has entered the season. Spark the lid, so let it burn. Spark the lid, so let it burn. The spark the lid, so let it burn. Spark the lid, so let it burn. Burn, burn, burn. Burn, burn, burn. This is where we live. Spending money, I think that's okay. Most people work hard to get paid. Streets are power and they don't understand. I've heard them say we are stewards of this land. There's a lot of people just like us. There's so many who believe and trust that there's a flame burning in your heart. There's a flame burning in your heart. In your heart. In your heart. So let it burn. Spark is lit, so let it burn. The spark is lit, so let it burn. Spark is lit, so let it burn. Break it down, break it down. I gotta tell a secret. Spark is lit, so let it burn. Spark is lit, so let it burn. The spark is lit, so let it burn. Spark is lit, so let it burn. Burn, burn, burn. Burn, burn, burn. how we go man that's how we all got here it's good to be here clandestine live global healing event are you guys healed yet i'm feeling really healed you know that was good medicine good vibration we had a lot of music as you know we are a rock band actually any kind of band you want us to be what do you want country tomorrow he's going country he's going country, go country. <laughs> maybe some reggae maybe some classical we'll bring some symphony in here play Ooh. some music either way music is a language right Right? I'm talking. You, it. you were speaking right, it right now. Well, you know, language. I've been told that music is a spirit. Music yep. is magical. And as you, can as you can see, it can change space and time. That's our goal and our intent today. Global healing. How you feeling out there, friends and family? Ray's feeling great, dude. What's oh, up, yeah, Ray? Ray. Ray. Oh, yeah, what's yeah, up? Dude. I think I see Paula on here. Who Paula? else is watching? Shout out, yeah. man. Ray better stick around. He's going to get his cameo here in a minute. That's right. We got well, Ray coming up with a good interview from our E-Tech 2020. Man, Andrew. That was a great time. Oh, man, I'm looking forward to that. That's one. right. That was great times. We got a lot of interviews from E-Tech 2020. After that E-Tech 2020, I just wear a jacket all the time now. You guys, you know, oh. I just wear a suit all the time now <laughs> because after that feeling, I have to show reverence and gratitude to how unbelievably blessed we are as human beings. Uh, the hard times, the good times. Yeah, you've all heard the songs. And the songs are what brings us to the reality, man. Without that pain, without that struggle, I don't know if Dave's blues song will be all that good, you know? All right. My blues it song. Might. She left me again. But it probably won't. I don't know. You're going you know? to be missing the X Factor, dude. Is it pressure that makes a diamond? What's makes, what makes a diamond? Uh, we can print those now. Well, 
what about hard work, you know? Elbow grease, something to be said for it, man. I've been told, you know, I've heard it's been said that if you're just simply not lazy, you're ahead of everyone else. Just got to show up, dude. <laughs> just show up, just man. Just show up, man. With a plan, with some intent, right? How you feeling back there on the drum kit? I haven't heard anything from this guy back there. Yeah, well, he showed up, feeling? dude. He showed up, and he's here, man, intentful, feeling groovy. Yeah. He showed up just for you guys. Andrew Ayers on the drums. Right. Thanks, Hi, right. Yes, hello, everybody. And, and he's right. got some Spirit Nation. Spirit Nation. Spirit Nation. Coming up. Andrew, tell me about we Spirit Nation. CBD. Ooh, what does that mean, though? I what does CBD is. infused mean? CBD right. infused? Well, yeah, well that. what does that mean? What does CBD enhanced mean? What does CBD mean? We'll tell you that. You're going to learn that on the show. We have a lot of things coming up, man. We have footage from the suicide walk right mm -hmm. out of the darkness out that's of the an darkness, annual yes. event that we've been a part of this year was uh, over at salt river fields you're going to see footage of that we also where else man we were all over las vegas man and earlier this year when the it was e party when it was that's cool right. to be in vegas right it was, was pre oh, now you right get a little before. head looked well, at you yeah. you're yeah. where some yeah. top, no. top you're with who there. Top golf. How many people are there? Pot in Vegas now and get <laughs> nowadays. You know, it's legal and all recreationally. It's interesting as we move through the year 2020. Remember, Operation Peace Project brings you Clandestine Live, and the band here, Clandestine. We're happy to be spokespeople and and uh, we're carrying the flag, if you will, of Operation Peace Project, bringing healing, utilizing music, arts, entertainment as a means to bolster the awareness prevention of suicide. And as we went into 2020, Dave, man, it, it's been rough, right? We were all stuck at home, and man, I, I, I like streaming shows, right? But man, I had, to, I had to add on some exercise. I had to add on some other things. So, you know, as you can see, some I'm not even wearing shows? my sunglasses today. You just watch right? do aerobics. Right? That's right. We, we made some new workout plans. <laughs> yeah. yeah this is called Jazzercise soon. Kids. Coming Whoa. soon, Connell. Coming and soon. Condos Fitness Beach Body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His jazz are sad. Body, like yeah. how you jazz it up. His Zumba. Man, it's yeah. so honorable for us to be involved with the people we're working with, guys. It's unbelievable. Oh. I want to shout out. We have a great message from our good friend and our colleague, actually, Dr. Setyan, Dr. Fahan Setyan, PhD, award winning author coming up later. Ooh. He's going to be talking and releasing, discussing the tipping point. If you haven't had a read on the tipping point, you can find that on our Palliation uh, link. Palliation Collaborative is on Facebook, and I believe we have that link on our Clandestine Live or Clandestine Facebook somewhere. You can find that. But we're going to have a special appearance from Dr. Setyan again. It's always special when Dr. Awesome, special. Right? Man, I'm always Visits honored us. to work with gentlemen like that, you know. And then we have the colleagues that we've been involved with. You're going to get a message, an emergency response, and a safety message from one of our good friends, and Dr. Ascari, MD, from Thumb Butte Medical Center. And uh, you can scroll back, man. I'm always I'm bragging, you know, because we worked with and we helped out Dr. Lynn Wynn, right, the, mm -hmm. the director of Seriously Ill Patients, MD. Mm -hmm. You can look that up. We're going to be doing emergency COVID testing, COVID-19 testing, into the summer, we're going to be broadcasting more shows like this and educating. But we're going to have live events where you can come out and be tested. Talk to an MD, actually. Get your test on. Find out what the realities of living in this time are. As we know, it's changed drastically. Everything you do has changed, right? So let's not ignore it. Let's embrace it. Man. Uh, as neighbors, you know, as friends, Dave and I totally embrace this. Man. We're... We're like stuck together at first, you know, like, well, we just traveled. So we're all quarantined in, lighting fires together every night and cooking over. And then we got past that stuff, you know, and and hopefully as the summer progresses, we're going to have a good time releasing content. And we're, you know, of course, Dave, Dave knows man. I feel like I'm I more blessed than than uh, is possible. And it's not about money. It's not about, you know, objects, if you will. It's about friends and family. And I'm at a time in my life where I understand how important that is. You know, your friends around you, the people talking. Well, happy Father's Day, sir. 
All happy right, Father's I was late. See, happy see, I was like day, throwing that fathers. out there, man. I was waiting for that, man. It's just <laughs> trying to give you, you guys know. a fish. Look at there. Somebody well, even says it to you. Great, guys. man. I, I gotta Throw say, Happy Father's Day to Crow and to Dave. Yeah, man, Crow's happy first, Father's Day. First Father's Day for Crow. Goodness. That's right. The first one. He earned it. Oh I think. My goodness. Did you earn it. Change some diapers this year. Hope All so. the diapers. Hope so. <laughs> We're giving education on diaper lessons later. Right? Watch those <laughs> YouTubes, man. You just gotta awesome. do it quick. Just do it quick, just like everything else. You know, sometimes it's a band-aid thing. Just take it off. And uh, again, it's global healing event. What we mean by healing is we believe, and I know that music is healing. Discussion, fellowship, being together without judgment is very important. And so we're here just having a good time. And I put my good jacket on for Let's you. Put his good jacket on. We got know. some good it's videos for, my friends for you. And family. I'm not trying to impress you other than, man, look. My sister knows I cleaned up and cleaned up for you. you cleaned man. up for you, sis. You know. She's right, like, all right, Connell, well, let's get to right, some of this awesome content you've been bragging about. I know, right? We What's released going a brand on new here? song. Have you guys ever heard that song? Have no. you ever heard that Have song? you heard it? That was a brand new song. Shout out to some of the artists on that record, right? Right? That singer, you can look her up right now. Maybe she's watching. You want to give her a shout out, Dave? Of course. Oh, What's yeah. up, Rachel? Oh, yeah. Sarah. <laughs> How you doing, Sarah? And uh, she's in an awesome band, man. Las Cholas Pelagrosas. Is that yeah. how you say that? <laughs> yeah. I'm not even yeah. going to try to say better that. Than I <laughs> Woo! Las Cholas. Yeah. Yeah. So Rachel, she was singing on that track. And, and we put that together some time ago. Man, uh, DJ Supervisa, if he's still grooving in the valley. I know he is, man. Bones is rapping out on that track. Shout out to Guitars and Where the heck are you, dude? Hey, man. <laughs> Has anybody seen that guy? Dude. Call time, mother... Oh, wait, mother what? I took uh, this from we're, Casper. We're oh, yeah, that, shut right? your man. We'll see Casper later on. Today. Let's get to Casper. Casper's yeah, coming right. up Casper's on the show tonight. On, dude. Let's have some fun, dude. All I think right. we have some information. Let's tell them about Spirit Nations. Spirit. And share another brand new song and another Nation. style of groove that Clandestine is releasing as we've been sitting around on our computers and creating things. As our you know, of course, fire, Connor, right? percussion and... You know, real guitar, strings, but no as you guitar. add all the computers and all the networking that we're using, right? Man, Dave is like cyber now. Yep. He's it's online. Cyber dude. damn. Damn cyber artist. That damn cyber tech. That damn cyber tech. You can check it out. Clandestine Live, and I'm honored to be here, guys. Global healing event. Let's move the show on. Move it or lose it. Let's tell them about Spirit Nations. Hey. Roll that video. Yeah. Destin Live Spirit Nation Spirit Nation the Oils Spirit Spirit Nations I'm Destin Live Spirit Nation products Utilizing cannabis in conjunction with natural compounds and other forms of herbalism is exactly what's needed for me to lead a happy, healthy quality of life. If, if you really think that cannabis can help you, uh, the full spectrum THC aspect, um, they'll give you an evaluation if you qualify, if you, you have the medical conditions in your state, uh, they'll write you a recommendation that you can actually apply to the state's medical program where you can actually be legalized to go to a dispensary, obtain this medicine that can really help you. And there's a lot of different forms out there. There's a lot of different products, a lot of different brands. Uh, do your research. There's a lot of positive things that you can do to feel better. And this is what the whole program is all about. I mean, just out of curiosity, how long people using it over 10,000 years ago, they actually found pots in China. The original <laughs> pot of our system. It's been around for centuries, right? The plant the itself plant has itself, been around yeah. since the dawn of, of humanity. Clandestine Live Spirit, Spirit Nation products. Spirit Nation. Spirit Nation. You know, a lot of cultures utilize this plant for, for a lot of different reasons. Uh, 
has is all its not only just medicinal uses but the plant itself is so fibery and has so many different thousands and thousands of uses. Clandestine live here for Res 2020 in Las Vegas, having a great time, man. What do you think of this, Crow? That's right. We've been at the Paris, the 32nd floor, all night, all day. We are hosting all e night, Tech all day. That's right. right. Clandestine's very first e Tech. We'll have Andrew telling you guys all about that later on. But right yeah. now, let's go have some fun in Vegas, guys. Let's go, Vegas! Up next, Howard Harper with EnviroBuilder. Only on Clandestine Live. What I have here is smart steel. This is a material that's used for building residential and commercial buildings. This material replaces the stud wall that you typically see people build houses with. This material weighs two and a half pounds per square feet. It has an R value of 49, which means it's, it's about seven times as energy efficient as that wall right there. This material will not burn, will not absorb water, and will withstand hurricane wind loads of 200 miles per hour. You can construct a house with this material and compared to that same house constructed using uh, conventional means, this material will reduce your electrical energy requirements by 65 to 75%. And we put a solar system on to address the remaining electrical needs. We have a three-pronged approach for Navajo Nation. 
First of all, we're gonna build beautiful, quality housing. Secondly, we're gonna train Navajo Nation personnel and integrate them in the construction team that build the houses. The third thing is we have a mortgage program whereby we work with the United States Department of Agriculture. This is 100% financing, a maximum interest rate of 3%, and it even has payment assistance. So we believe that this approach not only address the housing needs, employment, and again, it makes homeowners out of everyday citizens. Again, this is Smart Steel. Thank you very much. Hey everybody, thanks a lot, Kano. Thanks for the great uh, introduction. Um, I met Kano a few months ago, and we, uh, I told him what I was doing, and it's kind of a media company that's kind of unique. I've uh, been pitching shows in Hollywood for nine, ten years. I kept getting, the, hey, can you change the characters to white characters? Or I said, well, the narrative is Hispanic. No, we want white. Or get out of here. Green light it, red light it. You know the whole, the whole nine yards. Two years ago, I decided to create my own digital streaming network called Pura Raza TV, which means pure race. And it's, uh, we're, gonna we're gonna present culturally relevant programming for the native American market, indigenous people, and Latinos, mostly Mexican. So there's no representation on television by the, uh, the common means. We're gonna tell our own story, the truth. No cowboys and Indians, no, no cartel stories, positive, motivational movies and TV shows. That's what we're doing. I've already been approached by Disney. They say, when you build it, we're gonna buy it. I say, you're not buying this, this network because you're just gonna shelve it. We, this is gonna be our voice. And every project everybody's working on, you're gonna have a place to bring it to and put it on. Yeah, independent producers, they produce movies and then they, they don't have no place to put it. TV shows, they don't have no place to put it. Or well, then maybe they'll put it on, on YouTube and they'll get 17 cents for every thousand views. Come on now. And then they don't, they don't, then they don't own the IP. They don't own the advertising. We're gonna give that producer that opportunity to own the IP, the advertising, merchandising, brand licensing. And it's a unique situation. I met all these beautiful people here. We're all coming together. And I'm just very fortunate to do that. Pura Rasa TV, we should be launching at the end of the year. And I'm pretty excited about the opportunity to work with each and every one of you. Thank you, amen. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I get a little nervous. <laughs> Next up on Clandestine Live eTech, Eric Mims of Mims Motors. Eric Mims of Mims Motors again here on Clandestine Live. I'm so honored, Eric. I'm so honored, and we're sharing this vision. I'm going to be able to sit in your vehicle and drive it. Indeed, indeed. Uh, the company is na actually named after my father, Matthew Mims, mm -hmm. and uh, I decided that I wanted to be a car manufacturer when I was nine years old, uh, when my, my brother actually ended up buying his first car at uh, Burke Greenwald Chevrolet in Akron, Ohio. And uh, everybody asked me what I wanted to, what kind of car I wanted to drive and, or, or own in, in the future, and I told them that I wanted my own. And uh, they all kind of like looked at me kind of crazy and said, you know, well, once you, you know, buy a car and you own it, you know, you paid it off, it's going to be yours. And I said, no, I want to own my own car company. Mm -hmm. And uh, so everybody kind of like looked at me like I was crazy. I was like, what's this nine-year-old kid talking about, you know? And, uh, but nine, uh, 41 years later now, uh, Mims Motors Corporation, I'm the first black car manufacturer in 100 years since C.R. Patterson and Sons. Uh, we're a certified uh, SAE large-scale manufacturer of electric vehicles. Uh, we've got 27 vehicles that we'll be coming out with over the next 10 to 15 years and uh, we will be launching this year uh, in 2020.
clandestine live in Vegas for UFC. We brought out Wham TV with us, so let's go check out the fight. Wham! My name is Peaceful Warrior. I'm of Lakota descent. I'm of Pueblo descent. And I'm very honored to be able to talk to warriors, right? I understand uh, as the gate closes and it's time to train, you're by yourself. And when you're tired, when your spirit's telling you to keep going and your body's saying otherwise, you're by yourself, right? It's only you that chooses. So thank you for choosing. Thank you for inspiring. So as you go into the next fights and you're, you're embarking on this quest, right? And as we achieve what we know you're going to achieve, we want to be there with you in energy, in solidarity, as brothers, as family. So we want to give you a warrior song and other fighters as you, as you embark on this uh, battle. You know, we walk this earth. So, uh -huh. so you remind us that we're human beings. I'll, I want to give you this warrior song and, and send you, you know. <clears throat> uh -huh. This guy's an Aztec good. warrior right this here. This guy here right, came, from, came, from, came from the Aztec warriors and he's fighting May 9th. Right really? On, yeah. Right on, May 9th, all right. May 9th, Sao Paulo is defending with his energy. belt. Yeah, coming from the energy side.
Vahan Setyan, good friend, brother. But Dr. Setyan, tell us why you're here. Tell us your books. Tell us what you've written. Right. And then please bring it together as to why you believe or what you see we've brought together in these three days. Oh, absolutely. Well, appreciate everybody for uh, having me here. It's, it's a huge honor to, to uh, be amongst you. Um, well, my books had to do with ancient history and language. Obviously, it gave me the opportunity for me to examine all cultures around the world for the last 12, 13,000 years. And uh, I became more and more humble to all the cultures around the world, obviously. Um, at the same time, I uh, learned more and more about the, the indigenous. That opportunity gave me uh, the way toward incorporating, you know, the, the healthcare services that we can provide to the Native Americans and the indigenous by going in and trying to see if we can help them through their chronic disease management, obviously. Uh, the healthcare that doesn't work right now on tribal lands, and we want to fix that. Um, the, the U.S. government is unable to do that, so we're trying to uh, make it better through the private means by collecting all the physicians around the nation. You know, we live in the United States. Every square inch, as you say, is the ancestral land of the, uh, the Native Americans, and many, many people forget billions of dollars are, are being had by different corporations by doing all that on ancestral lands. But at the same time, Native America is, uh, you know, to a certain extent, to a large extent, it's, it's impoverished. So we got to fix that. And so for us to fix that, that means that us, everybody needs to come together and to make sure that, you know, the, uh, the leaders understand that the healthcare doesn't work at the moment. And so we're trying to, trying to help them. And at the same time, bring in economic development. Every Native American should be a millionaire because they have the resources, because they have the capacity to do so. But the system itself does not allow them to, to be that way. And uh, we need to fix that. If the indigenous of that society is worse off than uh, the, the rest of the population, right? Then that society is on a clear path towards self-destruction. So I think the time has come for us to uh, grasp the wisdom of the Native Americans and the indigenous and the world has uh, the balance has shifted right when you say balance that leads us into science man mm. straight up balance we can say balance on a new agey type level and uh on clandestine live here we don't have to apologize for those dimension splits right. and those dimension crosses those parallels or those paradigms or partitions that exist in this plane that we walk on mm -hmm. right on clandestine live we don't apologize for the fact that there's magic okay we think things are magic when in effect it's just action it's action man. right and there is no excuse there's no excuse for me or you none of us here as we're on the ancestral lands of the ute here in las vegas the paiutes probably more than we think more than we realize the government told us it was them but it was probably all of us as we travel just like we do now as we vacation in las vegas nevada from all walks of life and all parts of the earth, we come to Las Vegas. Absolutely. Right, so we're gonna wrap this little episode up here. Dr. Sedyan, thank you for expressing thank you very much. that. That Appreciate brought me together and, and uh, some words. As we know, information is the most valuable thing on this planet mm -hmm. and in space and time. Information, let's let it ring. Let's let it ring out. Let's send a signal mm -hmm. through these cameras, through these microphones into space. 
Clandestine Live in Las Vegas, Nevada, Res 2020. Dr. Vahan Setyan. Dr. Setyan provides years of expertise and is celebrated by Marquis Who's Who, an award-winning author, and he's here to talk about his new book, The Tipping Point. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, as Earthcast and Clandestine Live and Operations Peace Project come together to bring you a show of various topics that is affecting us all around the world. Uh, I would like to share my piece of information that hopefully will be helpful to the audience out there that relates to COVID-19 uh, native health, as well as the, the future of native health and economic development. Um, I published my fourth book. It's called The Tipping Point, and which can be found online. And uh, we will give you details of where to find it. Uh, it's available for free for people to read upon. It does apply to both governments at the same time, the lay people are able to just read it and, and reflect on it. Uh, I do talk about the, the native health woes at the same time how COVID-19 can reinvent a native country for it to be more prosperous. Uh, as you already know that uh, the COVID-19 pandemic has set native country back 30 years. So now it's a matter of life and death for native country for them to reinvent themselves uh, to find other means of revenue uh, besides from gaming. So uh, with the tipping point, which I published around February of this year, um, I've been talking about its effects and so many people have reviewed it. And uh, I do talk about uh, the Native American genocide of yesterday, as well as the ongoing Native American genocide and culture side that's happening today, which many people don't talk about. And at the same time, I do talk about the uh, their current affairs of what's going on uh, out there on the reservation. Considering of the chronic disease uh, that's prevalent within native country, the pandemic is hurting them more. And obviously, uh, very little help is uh, piercing through native country uh, from the outside. So we have come together with various providers and institutions and organizations for us to come together as one to help native country and their individual governments and their healthcare system. Um, as we already know that native country uh, hurts because they don't have a healthcare system uh, that uh, kind of mimics the outside. So we need to come together as one to implement services uh, that, do, that do work outside. And um, so our, our providers and uh, with their various uh, patent technology through telehealth and telemedicine are trying to bring in all those services to native country. And at the same time, we are working with various providers in their specialties to bring in uh, mobile units and as well as uh, COVID-19 blitz testing. Uh, that uh, we're trying to implement across native country. Now, since IHS has been incompetent to do this uh, for, uh, by themselves uh, since 1955, and obviously since the pandemic has hit native country, IHS is, is unable to perform its duties. And uh, that's where we come in. Uh, we come in as individuals, we come in as, as providers uh, for us to be able to help native country, both in healthcare and economic development. So the tipping point uh, covers a broad area of um, and a broad spectrum of, of native country, uh, the individual rights and their sovereignties and how uh, individual tribes can come together to create intertribal commerce, to create intertribal healthcare system uh, for them to be able to sustain themselves at the same time, uh, create a very uh, a unique healthcare system that will be applicable, applicable to them and uh, for them to get out of the, 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 the spiral that they're already in, which is bringing anything but uh, chaos in their healthcare system. Uh, many of the even rudimentary services are unavailable in native country. Um, that includes uh, simple as home health and, and hospice and, and palliative care. So uh, that needs to come into native country for the, for the natives and their veterans and their elders to really reap the rewards of what's really out there. So as far as for the COVID-19, um, it is something that uh, <clears throat> needs to be done across native country, uh, as well as outside into rural America at the same time. But considering that it's a sense of urgency within native country, uh, the COVID-19 testing is, is a must. Um, medical supplies and equipment should go to native country. 
uh, as soon as possible. Uh, we already see that uh, donations are taking place, uh, but at the same time, uh, more, more should be done and we should remove all the red tape and bureaucracy. Uh, for the for the natives to benefit uh, from from all these efforts, so it's it is still a difficult task for the outside to assist native country, um, just because <coughs> the uh, the uh, there is so much red tape and bureaucracy. So at the same time, um, uh, to going back to the tipping point, um, the forward has been written by uh, Juan Cano Sanchez from the Global Lakota tribe, and uh, he does reflect uh, into the nuances as a native. Um, as a descendant from the uh, uh, from the Glula, uh, warriors, at the same time from Crazy Horse and Sitting Bull, so um, he does see and he has seen all the chaos with the native country throughout many years, and uh, it's it's a breath of fresh air for me to look at what a native uh, Native American would say about what I have saw seen with the native country, and and they do merge and. Um, Considering that we have a huge momentum now and a huge opportunity to, to help native, uh, native country, uh, we must come together. And so the, the, the tipping point is, is uh, you can look at it as a, as a manifesto. You can look at it as a way for a, a tribe or a tribal enterprise for them to be able to look at what they have, uh, exercise their sovereignty and uh, create something new, create something unique uh, for the future generations. So with that being said, uh, I want to wish you good luck and uh, we're here for you and we're going to do the best we can to help native country um, to get out of this pandemic and to see uh, a thriving uh, economy in the future. Thank you. Baby, back yeah. on fast. Yeah. All right. All right. Clandestine Live. Thank you, Dr. Vaughn. Clandestine Live. Global healing event. I want to make a shout out right to our friend Fahan Setyan. All of our supporters, man. Yep. How you feeling today, Crow? Ooh, it's Father's Day. Oh, it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Shout out to our helpers, man. To our guys. Shout to the to experts that make sure the streams and, uh, you know, make sure you're safe at night watching Clandestine Live. Yeah. Shout out Verde Video Productions, A Wakeman Audio. We got a thumbs up on this feed. Yo. All right, yeah. we got a thumbs up. That's our local Chicano badass. What's up, Miguel? Verde Video in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here for our health. We have a website right now. You can get on that and help us out. All right www.operationpeaceproject.org operationpeaceproject.org is live right now you can push that button it says donate you can push that button you can donate right now one dollar send that to operation peace project you can help us help other people as we travel we journey and we help with covid 19 emergency response from our heart from our soul Emergency response for COVID-19. If you push that button, we can continue to create this beautiful content. Shout out to WAP TV for all that shots. Those shots and editing man, is wonderful. The Global Healing Event by Clandestine Live. Don't forget, push that button, operationpeaceproject.org. Give now, you can give now. All right, you know, definitely got a lot of people helping us out. Thank you. Kano said, donate to the cause, man. We're doing this for everybody, trying to make it happen. That's right, we're making it. Making it happen. Global Healing Event, Clandestine Live, OperationPeaceProject.org. Yeah, you know, Kano, dude, we got this uh, thing we want to do, you know? And a special shout out to my son, Max, for taking a thing. What a beautiful video, man. It was, it was wonderful. I've experienced that moment, Dave, right? Yeah. Sometimes in the morning or in the evening, take a minute to be grateful as we are yeah. all blessed, right? Yeah, and very thankful. Very yeah. thankful, man, and, and that's Hap what we want to present. Yeah. yeah, and happy Father's Day to everyone that has kids. To a lot of you guys out there. Let's not kid ourselves. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you, Max Montour, for editing this next piece. And as we share this moment, yeah. remember as humans, man, uh, everyone is allowed to be reverent of their own prayer, of your own worship, whatever it is that takes you to the place of enlightenment, of, of betterment, right? And you've helped me a lot, you guys, right? Yeah. Being in the band clandestine keeps me on the loop of being positive and, and being able to embrace my feelings. So let's roll that video. And we went out again. We're Operation Peace Project is suicide prevention. And you can help us out. You can help us help people. And what we're doing is creating content. We're utilizing music, arts, and entertainment as a means to bolster awareness, prevention of suicide. So you'll see us out there at the Out of, out of the Darkness Walk 2020. But right now, we want to bring us into the mood of the music, share some moments, you know, some humility, some humble times, and uh, express that every man, every woman has the right to worship, no matter who you are. You don't have to have a permission. You don't have to have a special yep. anything. Just, you know, the beat of your mother's heart. Yep. Express the first song you heard, and, and it brings us to this next video. Man, you want to introduce it, Dave? Yeah, I want to say thanks to Max because he asked me one day, hey, can I tape that prayer that you said? So he did. Then he put music to it, and then Connell had him put some stuff, a.k.a. that damn artist. <laughs> All right. Roll that. <laughs> I left it plugged in there for a little bit. I thought I was good. Uh, yeah, whatever. I'm going to leave it plugged in for a minute. Yeah. Yeah, I'll leave it plugged in for a moment, yeah. It's got a little red light that's on right now. Great Spirit, thank you for today. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the honor and ability with all humbleness to say a prayer, to call on you, to thank you, to acknowledge you as best I can. With all humbleness, Great Spirit. Thank you for my family, Raymond Max, my mom, my siblings, their offspring. My relatives, my friends, thank you. Thank you for the skills that you have given me, my art, my music, Bago. Thank you. Do my best. For all the people hurting mentally, physically, and spiritually, Great Spirit, that you'll be with them today, that you'll touch them, you know who they are, you know how to touch them. for being with Becky and helping her every day. She needs your help right now, actually. Thank you for being with Beth and all the people that need your help. A lot of people need your help, Great Spirit. Our world needs your help at this point in time. <laughs> Big way. us that are out of balance, that today we'll have balance, right or wrong, good or bad, so our light will shine with your presence, your energy. Our world needs your help. I need your help. They need your help. We all need your help. positive, to the negative, to the balance, to the light, your light, great spirit, my light, your presence, your energy. Thank you for the goals, the dreams, the aspirations, the 
desires, the fantasies, all in a good way. Thank you. You see what's in front of me today? Today I'll do my best. You do the rest. Your will be done in all things and in all ways. your energy, my light. The hope to the east, to the south, to the west, to the north, to all my relations and relationships. Oh. with Clandestine Live. We're here at the Out of the Darkness Walk, the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, Operation Peace Project, and Clandestine Live on scene. How you feeling, Crow? Hey, we're not here alone. We've got everybody from Arizona here today. They're coming out. You are not alone. Everybody's here coming out anti-suicide. We're here. That's right, Dave. Gonna be walking. Already tired, though. Walking, walking. Walking for it. I got my uh, Lamborghinis on. Got my shirt on. I didn't know we were dressing in suits today. Man, I put the purple shirt on, I put the purple beads on, representing our team, Brandon's team, our walk, you know. Suicide's definitely a dark subject and it's hard to discuss, right? But Clandestine Live is coming out on social media. And we're coming together, like you said, man. There's right. thousands of people here to celebrate life. That's what we're doing today. Yeah. Are you feeling good, Dave? I am. I'm glad to be here, glad to be alive. I have to say, as the sun ra rose, you know, I was really honored to be here. The Autumn people, the Autumn land. I have to say, uh, it's the first time that the Suicide Prevention Foundation brought in Autumn, a Native American blessing, to the event. Uh, this is about our fourth or fifth year attending Out of the Darkness. I have seen a, a lot of our friends here today. Right. I believe they're down on the field. They're going to do a little ceremony, bless this place for us. That's right, and we're going to be covering drumming sounds. Andrew Ecker, again, though, clandestine live on scene, Out of the Darkness, Walk 2019. Man, it's been a great weekend here. We've done a lot of events, and uh, it's great to be out here and join the crew, right? Yeah, and that drum, the drum circle, man, the heartbeat of our mother Earth. Yep. That's right, we gotta remind everybody, right? The biggest hit song on the planet, everybody loves it, everybody's favorite song. It's the first song we all hear. It's the beat of our mother's heart. So Clandestine Live, Out of the Darkness Walk 2019 on WAMP TV. Much love everybody, we're gonna enjoy the day. with Clandestine Live. I'm here with Miss Arizona 2019, Nadia Monique. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really good. I'm super excited to be here. You know, everyone came out to support this amazing cause and it's just so beautiful to see. It is beautiful. And speaking of beauty, man, you're looking really good today, Dave, but you know, I've got to look right by you because we have beauty on scene right here, framed in camera. She got an award for it. it she got an award for having poise. Is it a big trophy? Um, of course. I mean, it's definitely like a very honor to be Miss Arizona. There's a lot of responsibility that comes with it, though, as well. So it's not always as easy as it seems on camera. So you get to carry this, this title for an entire year. How would you feel when you actually won that? You know, I felt so surreal. I don't even think there's a word to describe the feeling that I had. Um, I think the biggest thing for me is I'm not the typical image of a pageant queen, but I love to, you know, inspire others that if I can do it, so can they. 
Well, that's a great inspiration. You know, we're here right now at the American Foundation for Suicide Preven Prevention Walk, the uh, Out of the Darkness 2019. And, uh, you know, I'd like to say sometimes it's easy to see the surface, see the beauty, if you will, right? And, and I know I'm, I'm, I'm really beautiful and all, you know, and people probably have a hard time thinking that I'm sad, right? But I, I do want to say that, um, you know, like yourself, as you're walking around, you're, you're in pageantry, you're Miss Arizona, right? But I think I can probably relate with you that human emotions come into play, right? So what could you say to people out there just as they're making their way, you, know, you and I have been on stage, I've had accolades, you know, you have a sash here. Did that change everything? Do you still have feelings? Do you still feel the same things? I definitely do. And the biggest thing for me is I was the youngest competitor um, ever to compete for Miss Arizona and the first from Arizona. And, you know, I, I really did get looked down on a lot because I was so young in the competition. But the biggest thing for me is I always stay true to myself. And, you know, at the end of the day, like you said, when the lights go off and, you know, the cameras turn off, you still go back to that room and you still, you know, have to gather yourself together because it's all about your mindset and your mentality and how you hold yourself and I think the biggest thing is like you have to have emotions in you know this pageant you have to have emotions in the industry period and it's good to really show that and showcase that to you know your social media your platform because it makes other people relate to you you know as somebody who has emotions and like it's not really looking up to a fantasy it's more looking up to a friend you know so it's important. Yeah, it is important, you know, and the, and the packaging, I guess, we all choose what our packaging is, right? What our intent is. Crow over here, what's your package today, man? How are you feeling? Don't be talking about my package, you're, you're, dude. You're interviewing Miss Arizona. I know, you know I wanted I'm, to I'm ask Miss Arizona, to, you know, what was your uh, talent? Did you have a talent in the show? I actually didn't have a talent. We what? had no, we didn't have a talent portion in our competition, thank God. Because, I mean, I like to think I can sing in the shower, you know, when the, la the music's really loud. But other than that. I tried <laughs> singing in the shower one time. I almost drowned. Water just kept going <laughs> in my mouth. I don't know it what It gets happened. to that point sometimes, you know. Well, I think uh, a lot of the talent was poised, right? Being able to articulate things and have charisma. Man. Talking's not easy, bro. Right, that's right. You think you think Crow has an easy time doing no, all this, man? I don't. No, no. I have to wake up early, put this hair on. It's not man, easy. Man, believe that. Well, what could you give to inspiration, I guess, or an inspirational thing for a young lady or a woman that wants to make her way? Is there something you could tell them? I would, I always stand by this, it's all about mindset. I, I will 100% like stand by that only because like the things that happen behind camera, you know, it's not always as it seems on camera. You only see the pretty pictures, the outcome of, you know, the product. You don't see, you know, the countless rehearsals, practices, the sleepless nights, you know, the dedication that goes behind it. And I think it's very important to show that and always, you know, dream big, never dream small. And if there's something you want in the world, you go get it, and you just put all your mind and your work and hard work like behind that, and you it will come true. Never dream small. That's right. I like that inspiration, man, and that intent. Are you on Instagram and all that I stuff? I am on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is Nadia Monique with two eyes. Um, you can follow me there and follow my journey as I complete my reign as Miss Supernational Arizona 2019. Nice delivery. Right. Well, thank you for being with us, Nadia. I'm here with my friend Andrew Ecker of Drumming Sounds. How are you feeling today, Drew? Uh, I'm feeling really fortunate to be a part of this amazing gathering, um, to be here supporting community. You know, it is somewhat of a historic day, you know, as far as the walk. We've been doing it for four years, uh, but today is a really special day because we have uh, actually a Native American blessing going on this morning, which uh, having worked in the field of suicide prevention uh, with the Havasupai and the Hopi and the Diné people, uh, you know, I know this is an issue that really hits home uh, for our people. And uh, I feel like it's a huge uh, spiritual and energetic uh, kind of movement going on right now uh, for us in Arizona and just uh, feeling privileged to be a part of it. Uh, you know, and then here again to be a suicide survivor and also share what has helped me with the drum. You know, right. so excited, well, excited to be here today. Well, I got to say, Andrew here, like myself, 
I, I, I talked about you early on in film. I said, yeah, he's got a business, but, you know, he's really just started this out of the heart, and it turned into something, right, that, that he, had to, he had to create a business around, right, because the need was so great. And what he's doing with the drums, and we'll show that later as well, drumming sounds, healing the nation, right? Rock the nation, if you will. Uh, <laughs> right? But your intent, man, and, and the things you bring to us and the special healing you've brought to me personally mm. as I've gone through these issues. I'm wearing a purple set of beads and a purple shirt in honor of my nephews and my family members out here walking in honor of life. So I have to say I've come to your circle right after serious events in our family, and thank you for the healing, man. Mm. Yeah, I'm always uh, trying to be there for the community, you know, and like you said, uh, finding value in navigating that, you know, how are we going to support ourselves and our family? You know, I'm a father, you know, me and Monica, this is just what we do, right. you know, and, and, and it's challenging at times, but yet the motivation where there's vision, there's provision, you know, and that happens. Uh, so I'm, I'm grateful that the community has valued us and the hospitals have embraced us and, you know, working in drug rehabilitation and meeting with people that are struggling. You know, the life's issues are real right now. You know, we have the highest record of overdose, the highest record of, of suicide, you know, ever recorded in history. That's and right. it's something Lead, we need to talk about. You know, tenth really leading here. cause of death in the nation right now, suicide, right? Uh, so we're in a stadium of 11,000 seats here. We could fill this four times with the amount of people that have taken their lives this year. Mm. 44,000 people just this year in 2019. And uh, man, drumming sounds and clandestine live doing our best to be out here and just spread awareness, not only for suicide prevention, but celebration of life, man. Can I get you to stand up here with this, Dwight? I'm gonna bring Dwight in camera here. Dwight's gonna do a blessing for us, man. I'm honored to shake your hand, sir. You know, I've, I've talked to many of your elders and I've had the honor to travel around this valley and been told that what you see now is, is it's dry. There's not a lot of trees, but before, you know, before we settled this with concrete and asphalt, this was an oasis. This was a place full of cottonwood trees and, and water. It was a marshland full of deer and full of wildlife and abundance. You know, your people, uh, people of the river, right? So if you could, Dwight, uh, tell us a little bit of what you're going to do today, man. I, I'm honored to be here and, and, and uh, be able to witness this, and I definitely want to show it to people. Well, first and foremost, I'm, I'm absolutely humbled to have this opportunity to come into, as you said, share in, in these life ways that we have, you know, whether it's, um, you know, experiencing life in that abundance and, and lushness from back in the day. Um, to, uh, you know, coexisting with society today with who we are and with this real issue and how it has an, a great impact uh, on us. I myself have two, two of my mom's brothers who are, um, you know, we, we are survivors of homicide. I mean, survivors of suicide because of their, um, them taking their own lives. And so it's something that has really impacted me. I really feel like, you know, that's kind of maybe the reason why Creator brought me here today, mm -hmm. you know, to address that issue in my own life and in my family's life. Um, so here today, um, mm -hmm. and I agree with you, the blessing, you know, back in um, old times, it was, it was frowned upon, uh, maybe even considered sacrilegious, but in our way of, you know, living in uh, society today, we have to acknowledge that, you know, one of the ways that we can greatest ex experience that healing from an issue like suicide is spiritually yeah, from our, 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 you know, learning how to uh, rely on our creator for that healing that we have to experience in our lives. And so I'm going to refer to everyone here today as my brothers and my sisters coming together to um, bring awareness to this issue, but also to be able to, you know, um, learn how to celebrate life in this way, coming together. That's what, so it's what's uh, um, probably um, one of the biggest blessings about being here today. So I'm really fortunate too. Well, I feel fortunate and they're calling us to wrap this up. We got to do this blessing, man. Thanks for being with us, Dwight. Aho matakia se. All my relations, clandestine live, WAMP TV.
Clinton Destin Live All Global right. Healing Event. Thank you, thank you, thank All you. All right. Man, I hope you've enjoyed this new music. We did some world premieres today, Dave. That's right. That's right. We're just giving away art music. Operation Peace. Peace. Operation, Operation Peace. Peace. Operation Peace Project. 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 Org. Operation. Push that donate button right now. Hey, guys, what do we got? We got operators standing <laughs> by. You can push that donate. We got anything yet? Yeah, it's called an AI. Yeah. Yeah. Operation yeah. Peace yeah. Project. Operator. I don't hear it yet. We got oh, Polly Shore on the phones right now. If you call them, they'll oh, take your goodness. donation. Oh, What's going on, here, buddy? They'll be fine. Who's answering the phone, bro? So you can give to Operation Peace Project right now. We have great content, man. We got some reggae coming up. Oh, man. Let's roll the marquee footage, marquee. man. We are having a great time at marquee. Some reggae, the, some marquee. Oilers. We're going to be back oh, at the marquee, marquee. man. Operation it's clandestine Project operation. At marquee. Marquee. Secret, operation secret Peace. stuff's going to be announced shortly operation about the marquee in many places in Maricopa County please in Arizona. Please donate. Global healing event. Please operation donate. Peace Project clandestine live. Let's go to the marquee. Not big. We're on scene at the Marquee Theater. You watching Clandestine Live. I'm hanging out with that damn artist. That damn artist. And this guy. Who's this guy? It's that damn crow. Oh, wait. That's wait. trademarked. Hey, wait. Clandestine Live. Watch us. It's the 40th anniversary of the Whaler Survival album. That's a very long time to That's be right. playing that album, guys. So much trouble. All right, well, I'm here to see Highest Conspiracy and Jalos and the Rebels as well. Full access to the Marquee Theater here on Mill Avenue in Tempe, Arizona. We're here to have a good time. The doors are, I think just VIPs came in. There's just a few people walking around, right? Only are the, the doors yet? People. Man, they're lining up outside. Why did they let us in then? They're lining out up to see Dave. Dave's here. They heard Dave's here, and they're lining up outside. That's right. <laughs> they're just chanting. That's right. Can listen. Dave, Dave, Dave. Great, Dave. great. Are you feeling good about it, Crow? I'm feeling great. I think the Whalers are going to come up and they're going to crush it like they've been doing for the past 40 years. That's right. Well, I'm feeling really good about it and somewhat melancholy because Clandestine was the first band to perform rock and roll music in this building. The That's venue is called Red River Opry now, right. right? But we're all grateful that it's the Marquee Theater. We were backstage speaking with Casper of Highest Conspiracy and the guys back there. And everybody's gearing up for a great show. We also, right? Rock and roll with a flute. Right? Are we going to bring those guys out here for some interviews? We are going to get interviews, and we went live earlier, so don't forget to follow, like, and share Clandestine Live on social media. And I, I have to enough. stress that you need to follow, like, and share, Crow. Please, please do. Because when we're in those meetings and, you know, everybody pulls their phones out, like everybody, it's, it's like a car. Right? In the old days, you drove up, remember, we were cruising, right? You had to have this cool muscle car. Now, if you pull and open up your Twitter, your Instagram, you better have numbers, man. You better have some followers. Some followers if All you're right. going to talk about it, right? I don't care how many times your grandma's following you. <laughs> That's I right. I appreciate man. everyone that has like followed and shared. Very important to us, and it means the world to our hearts, to your guys' hearts. And uh, thank you for allowing us to come out here and do things like this, allowing us to keep sending our message our love and our intent and our good vibes and we're definitely going to bring the whalers to you guys so that's what it's about right now that's right live on scene whalers 40th anniversary of the survival album proud to be here clandestine live at the marquee Marquis for letting us come and play some music, the local bands here, and make some noise, the Whalers in the house, y'all, yeah! <laughs> big up, big up, and the big inspiration. This song right here is Island Girl. And you know you are there. I'm going to share my word. You know she makes me wait. It's Island Girl.
of mine A girl like that is one of a kind She's so perfect for me uh, Together we'll see each other all day And all the time I believe the Lord put you here for my life I feel it too in every design It's so naturally when I think of her Oh pretty island girl you belong to me When she is on my roof I give her diamonds and pearls we stand by each other for a long time Now I'd like to see her when she dances with me She's smoking all day, they sip in my wine That's the kind of girl, yes, I need in my life Oh pretty island girl, come share my room Now come share my room Pretty island girl You know she makes me wait And the first time we met it was on the mainland She had legs for days, no care for evil ways All I need is her yes to understand I need you in my world, pretty island girl We walking down the street, holding hand to hand When she shakes her hips, I wanna kiss the lips We jamming all day, Latino real women Now I like to see her when she dancing with me We smoking all day, and sipping on one That's the kind of girl, yes I need in my life a oh, pretty island girl, come share my world. Now come share my world. Oh, pretty island girl, you know you make me weep. A oh, pretty island girl, she's the only one. A oh, pretty island girl, that make me so angry. Pretty island girl, now come share my world. You know she makes me wait Pretty island girl She's my only one Pretty island girl That made me so irate Style for you. Yeah, we are Latino Rebel Man House. John Lowe's and the Rebels giving it to I and I. Do I got here? I got my family in the house. I got my pops on the bass. So make some noise, y'all. My pops doing it right. Still church. Yeah, make some noise for the Rebels out here giving it to you live and direct. Kano here on scene at the Marquee Theater with John Lowe's and the Rebels. How you doing tonight, Carlos? I'm chilling for the Irie, you know. Yeah, how's it going today, Pops? Oh, I'm feeling great, man. Feeling beautiful at yes. all. <laughs> like always. <Good. laughs> all right, tell us what it's all about, man. We are Jalos and the Rebels. My name is Carlos. It's my Pops, and I have my bro, too, hanging out with us and doing their thing. Uh, we're all family. We're from Arizona. We, I finally got, like, I was able to just become myself and record myself because I yeah. came up on some dough to be able to get right. what I needed from a recording studio. Uh -huh. Got some people, got the team ready, and we started making that original music, you know what I mean? It's so. been a long ride, man. It's been a long ride, long road. Yeah. We've been together forever, probably about 15 years. But these are my sons. Hey, we've been together for a while, you know, we're family, right? So, uh, you know, it's been, we've been a minute. We've been together for a while. We've been, uh, we've been all around Arizona, parts of uh, Colorado, uh, Texas, 
California, Las Vegas, we've been all over. But we still want more. We're hungry for more, man. Right? That's right. Still, That's still what makes good groups. The vibes to send around, right? Yep, yep. You said something up there on stage about uh, like sending out good things, right? Yeah. What, what I do is I have made a song called Girl Rastafari, and it's about the youth. So and all of us together, yeah, as we man. all need to grow because we are here on the earth to grow. You know what I mean? And that's all we can do. Most definitely. Well, that's that's what we're doing here with this media platform, Clandestine Live and WAMP TV. We're on location here at the Marquee Theater. Marquee and Theater. I'm proud to see the show. Anxious to share you with more followers, man. You got to feel feel the music, feel the vibe, right? Uh, they can check you guys out, right? Yeah. Tell everybody where you guys are at. Yo, we can link up us on YouTube, Latino Rebel Band. Link me up, Reggae Muffin, Girl Rastafari. Also, Carlos Chavez on Facebook and Latino Rebel Band. So, you know. Wow. Right on. Well, we got these plugs in, but I want to get serious a little bit because I know we all feel it, man. 40th anniversary, man, of, of the Survival album. Dude, oh. you just opened for the Whalers. How do you feel, Carlos? Oh, man, it's, it's irony. We've been building up. I grew up listening to the Whalers. Everybody has. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's, it's blessed. We're blessed. Yeah, I, Bless I, Lions, yeah. you know what I mean? I tell the boys, I tell the boys, you know, we're a little band out of Glendale, out of nothing. And we're here with the Whalers. It's it's been a long ride, man. Mind and blown. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird. Dude. <laughs> That's right. That's right, man. Well, you really did it, Carlos, man, and and the group, man. You guys really just opened up. You warmed up the group and warmed up the stage, the venue for the Whalers' 40th anniversary of survival, man. Jalos and the Rebels, yo, the original Latino Rebel band. What's up, Clandestine Live and yes. Web TV on location, Marquee Theater, baby. Once again, we are highest conspiracy up in this mother. Watch your mouth. Featuring conspiracy horns, please show your love one time. Clandestine live in the house, so we're being live podcast. Make sure and make some noise, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. This love can't be shared, it's snared Well, who really cares? Who really understands the unreasonable? That's burning like a fire within As the fire burns them and lessons them learn Life is full of twists and life is full of turns Unpredictable, man, yes, man, for sure That is the future and what is in store Nowadays, people don't know Nowadays, love can never show Nowadays, we have to let the sun shine Open up the heart, I do my will find nowadays. People don't know nowadays. Love can never grow nowadays. You have to let the sun shine. Open up your heart, I do my will find. Fold up the cookie session, they feeling I remember being broke, driving to my interview. interview. Had a gas middle of the summer, 122. On the curb, stranded, what the fuck am I to do? But to stay true to every single thing that, that I, I do. do. Thinking to myself, this is just a bad day. Flat broke, counting up the sands in, in my ashtray. Nowadays, love can never go nowadays. Love will never show nowadays. You have to let the sun shine. Open up your heart, I you my will find nowadays. People don't know nowadays. Love can never grow nowadays. You have to let the sun shine. Open up your heart, I you my will find. Still love all them uncles, still love all them I'm Surprise, no lies, get to play rise. Right. Then my words 
I'll make you strong and lyrics make you wise. Then bring you down when you stand nuts and bring you down the size. They come to warn you about the truth and tell you about the lies. Because in the hearts of men, where well, all of them sin, no matter where your mom is, no matter where your friend. Nowadays, people don't know. Nowadays, love can never go. Nowadays, you have to let the sun shine. Open up your heart, and you my way to find. Nowadays, people don't know. Nowadays, love can never go. Nowadays, you have to let the sun shine. Open up your heart, and you my way to find. Nowadays, you my way to find. Seek what you find. No Masti, Maguich, Ashunk, Gracias, Tomo, Hadamagato. How you feeling, Tempe, Arizona? Somebody say, yeah! Once again, we are highest conspiracy. Every time in this dance hall, on the local scene, soon come international. Big respect every time to all the musicians and the players of instruments. Do you agree? clandestine live on scene at the Marquee Theater. We just witnessed it. We witnessed it. Highest conspiracy on the stage. What's up, Casper? We're in the house, brother. What's up, man? Highest conspiracy up in this mother. Watch your mouth. Live and on direct in Tepe, Arizona. Marquee Theater, as you can see, the place is jumping. Feeling good with this new project, Highest Conspiracy. Brand new project on the local scene. Soon come international. So soon come a strictly original music. Second album soon comes, so thanks for having us, man. Well, Casper, man, we're here at the 40th, you know, 40th anniversary of the Survival album, brother. I know you were like me, a res kid, walking around with that radio, listening to Bob and the Wailers, man. Dude, you just got off the stage, you just warmed it up, lit it up for the Wailers. How do you feel right now, Casper? Oh, man, it's, it's nice to share the stage with them once again. We actually, uh, over the course of 20 years of doing this, I think I've done shows with them probably about five or six times through the course of seeing the original members like uh you know lie window who's no longer with us the keyboard player and you know what i mean and just as the, the list goes on as they as they slowly but surely depart from us to be a part of something in 2019 that involves the whalers is, is epic with a new project i think i mentioned to you earlier that That's right. yeah I, this is probably the first time in my career that i've done two shows with two different bands in the same building in a lifetime. <laughs> well, that's right, man. I'm proud to be here with Casper, man. Dave, you just whispered, you just witnessed Casper taking it, taking it home, man. Highest conspiracy. How do you feel, man? I'm like losing my words. You know what? I'm totally elated. And I'm totally proud of Casper, man. You know what? Taking it to another level, and it's it was totally awesome tonight, brother. Yep. Right on, man. Well, the survival album, you know, Crow, I don't know if he even remembers yeah, hey, we that, we got to talk about Highest Conspiracy, man. Like, that's a great name. So, uh, what about Epstein, bro? Well, get back to the name. That one was actually thought up very well. But the first part was easy, because we're usually the highest people up in this mother. Watch your mouth. <laughs> and it's a conspiracy, because guess what? Right. In the very beginning of the very first album, I had to learn how to play the bass and wrote 10 songs on the bass because we didn't have a bass player. And I said, you know what? Ah, I'll do it. I'll learn how to do it. If I can get through trigonometry and, and, and a, at ASU and you know all that math for my classes, I can learn how to play the bass. Yeah. Not as good as Dave Montour, however, but. <laughs> <laughs> I think Clandestine knows about passing the bass around a little bit right, there. That's right. We treat an instrument like a bowl of popcorn. You know, we got to trade it around, put that energy in there. You know, I'm real proud of you. You know, about a year ago, I saw on Facebook, on social media, you were graduating from ASU, like you said, you know. What are these new? Brand new album. The book, yeah. What we were writing while I was in school. And Kwa I used to always say this, you gotta lead by example. And you know, like we all know that education's huge. We need right. it, we need it in Indian country. And so it was not something that in the beginning was, you know, to show anybody anything, it was for my own self. 
you know what I mean? But it turned out that I'm glad that we could show them that even at my age, you know, I'm getting up there in age and I went through the, all the way from the com uh, community college back up. Had to relearn right. how to do math, how to relearn how to uh, English and how to talk to people. It's essential in, this, in the times we live in. So I, I highly recommend education. Now, if you can get some scholarships to do it free, <laughs> we'll do that. Do it, you know? Well, you know, that's the country we live in, man. And, and standing here, we're listening to the whalers kicking it off, man. This party going on behind us, man. All these, all these great things, man. But I met you some time ago, and I remember listening to that mixtape. I keep saying it. I heard it on a mixtape. Who's this guy, man? A Who's this guy? tape. Most of you millennials right. might not know what that is. Hold on, hold on. What the cassette hell is that tape? Cassette Brother? tape. What are you talking about? All I know is I heard this is it like a Casper. Well, Casper and the 602. I can give you the definition of what a mixtape is in Apache. <laughs> I want the kind that goes like this, not the kind that goes like this. <laughs> yeah. I think I'll get that joke when I'm a little bit older. That's right, Crow. That's right, Crow. You got a lot to learn, man. You're, yeah, I got you're a little standing bit of here with to an go. elder, if you will. I still need to make a couple mixtapes And I'm talking about own. Dave. He's about to punch me in the ribs. I just called him an elder. Shoot, man. Shoot. Hey. Hey, just we just got listen wisdom. to that crowd, dude. Yeah. So listen to that crowd. Clandestine Live. Make sure you check it. Any chance you get. My name's Casper Lemias. from the Hopi Nation. Representing every time. Highest conspiracy up in this mother. Watch your mouth. Highest Conspiracy, you guys are on social media so everyone can check you out? www.highestconspiracy.com. We're all through that. Check us out. Highest Conspiracy. Yeah. We're going to have some real interviews. We're going to bring Casper on and all his boys talk about some conspiracies. We're going to make some conspiracies, yeah. man. Seriously. Clandestine Justin Live and WAP TV. What happened, to, what right happened to Epstein, bro? Epstein, what happened? Epstein? What? We're ready well, to I'm watch the I'm just saying look man. into it. Just say and look into it. Kano with Clandestine Live and Operation Peace Project. I'm here with the Native American Palliative Healthcare and Economic Development Collaborative. We're having a great time watching the whalers. We just witnessed highest conspiracy light up that stage. I'm here with my good friend Ken Levine, Dr. Vahan Setyan. We're lighting up this event, man. How you feeling, Ken? Man, I'm feeling awesome. I gotta tell you, I've been with this band for three years since the beginning. And this is absolutely the, uh, the finest gig that we've ever done. I mean, it's, uh, it's been awesome tonight. What a pleasure. Man, I have to commend you for it too, man. We've been talking a long time as businessmen and, and as musicians, and as we make this plan and we make our way, take these steps. Much iry feelings to you, man. Iry feelings as the whalers are playing behind us. There's dreams coming true, man. I got, I got to tell you, you know, I, I haven't done uh, uh, a lot of opening up for big bands, but uh, I've had some opportunities, and this is definitely one of the one of the best ones because we were right there. Right, it was really awesome. I had a good, really good time. Right on. Well, those vibrations and and all every time you move that trombone stick, man. Every time I throw it in the air. Yeah. That's okay. right, man. Well, we're healing everybody one by one, man. Music, energy, sound, man. Utilizing music, entertainment as a means to bolster awareness and prevention of suicide. We're promoting economic development and health and, where, uh, health and wellness through Native American country. I just happen to be Native American, right? So I'm gonna tell that message through a Native American format. But my friend here, Dr. Vahan Setyan, we're bringing this message of peace and hope, healing, fun, positive energy to the world. How are you feeling tonight, Dr. I'm feeling good. We're here to help everyone through healthcare, economic development. And uh, the world needs it. United States needs it. Indian country needs it. And we're here to help the elders, the veterans, the children who are dying in pain. So we're going to bring all the solutions here to the United States from Europe from other countries around the world to eventually help those people to stop from dying in pain. And I'm here to tell you that we're gonna make it happen. That's right, we're making it happen here live at the Marquee, man. Ken Levine, every time you blow a note, man, every time you bring a rhythm to the, to the air, man, you're healing somebody. Thank you, Ken. Thank you for everything you do, man. Yeah, I gotta say, you know, the brass section, whoo, amazing, amazing, brother. Woo! Thank you so much. It's a, it's a real honor to get to do what I love to do with people that I love to do it with. And it's really cool when people vibe on what we do. So thank you. 
very honored to be here and to have witnessed Highest Conspiracy, man. I look forward to more work with you. Man, we're doing so much with the American Indian Palliative Healthcare and Operation Peace Project, WAMP TV, and Clandestine Live. Honored to be here on scene at the Marquee in Tempe, Arizona. Thank you, Ken. Thank you so much. Right on, man. Love the tie. WAMP TV and Clandestine Live. Join us next time. Clandestine Live, baby. Let's go enjoy the whalers. That's right. Let's time go to dance. enjoy them. Let's get that good feel of raw. Yeah, man. Coming to you live in your Show house. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for inviting us for this uh, offering and uh, sharing of gifts. And uh, on our side, our gift has been this beautiful uh, blanket here. Uh, and it's interesting because it's uh, almost identical to the gift that I gave you in terms of a solar form. Uh, the uh, work that I do is based on this very same symbol. So uh, all, the, uh, all the things as far as um, my incarnation and all of that, that, that is a gift. And so part and parcel of uh, the gifts that I'm passing on to you for, for, uh, for healing of the nations you know, is, is in this case, it's, uh, you see, I gave you this mat and these Shambhala uh, Vajras and uh, geometric forms that come with that. that. If you look at that, you'll see be harmless and you'll see two circles that come together to create a uh, DNA, the sacred divine order of DNA. And basically what that is, is the, uh, the ending of separation, the ending of the relationship that comes with us thinking that uh, the manifestation of creation is, is, is separate and uh, has dualistic qualities, yeah? And where in reality, it is a universal, singular quality. Yeah? It comes to a center, a point, yeah? And just like in the blanket, everything comes to a point. Everything comes to the four corners. Everything radiates into the center of that point. And it's at this point that uh, the influence that I gave in the solar form is to help awaken uh, everyone's relationship to the Great Spirit. Uh, it's the Great Spirit, the Great Father, who is the uh, creator of this earth, a uh, creator of all things, uh, creator of breath and air, creator of life. Yeah, so there's no separation and there's no other name or, or it could be an interpretation, but there's no other uh, outside reality to that of the Great Spirit. Uh, it's inside the rock, it's inside the water, it's inside the air, but it's life itself is the Great Spirit. It's the Father. Yeah, it's the compassion, the energy of love, the energy of willingness to create and maintain that creation through thought form building. And it's in thought form building that we look at nature. We look at all the trees and we look at everything that's different. And that's all created out of the Father's mind, out of the Father's love, and out of the Father's own heart. Yeah. So the tools that I give is for us as a nation to heal and to gather and to find oneness in ourselves so that we can bring back the relationship to the Father yeah. and not of other belief systems. Yeah. But very centralized, focusing ourself down to our very cell, down to our very atoms, down to the point of light where the Father exists. Yeah. And if you add anything onto that, it's all delusion. It's all illusion. And it will have to be taken away because it creates a curse against the reality of the infinity of Father's grace. Yeah. So it's so important to have purity of mind and heart and understanding. So I'm really very, very happy that we as a nation, Native Americans and myself, Father, are one in this reality of helping to bring the balance of the ending of the curse 
of this world. Yeah, and it only will work by us taking divine refuge under the Father's grace. This is Father Earth, the Earth of Adam, the Earth of the Father. It is Jesus who comes to Earth, stands on the Earth, and brings the manifestation of creation back to Earth. That's a very different thing. Now, when we are in a constant world of destruction and elimination and inertia, and the only thing that gets us out of it is the grace of the Father, the Holy Spirit. Yeah, so on this day, Father's Day of all things, and of the beautiful day of the summer solstice, it's the relationship of even though the sun is at its farthest, it's also at the very peak of the top of the capstone of the Great Pyramid. And that earth is made of this Great Pyramid. And we are a great divining reality of humanity. So as Native Americans, it is our responsibility to respond to the Father and let go of lower nature, identifying outside reality as nature. That's not true. True nature has to do with the divine reality of the Father's grace, the Holy Spirit. It is imbued in nature. Therefore, then nature has a soul. Nature permeates and heals us all, and it communicates to us, and we can have communication with everything in nature. And it's that unified field, that unified communication that's found in the nature of Native Americans. So I really hope and I wish us all the blessings of the Father, the Great Spirit, to be one and to be awakened and release these curses. These gifts I again to you, and I thank you very much for the gifts that you give to us. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Buddha Maitreya. You can look, thank him up, you, Buddha. look him up on Facebook. Yeah. Hey, how you Good feeling? Well. How you, you feeling, Clandestine Live? Yeah, yeah. Clandestine Global yeah. healing event. Operation we heard from Peace walks Project. of life of all nations, all people. As you said, we're going to embrace the good, the light. Clandestine Live, yeah. bringing the good yeah. to you. Man, shout all out. our friends. That was wonderful, oh, right? Tons of shout Believe outs. Believe that. On. Throw them all out yeah. there, guys. Hey, get on your Carlos. phone right now, guys. Shout you can out. follow, Carlos. like, and share clandestine right now, yep. dude. Look, yep. people follow, can. Like, get on your phone. Hey, I want to share a great thank you and a heartfelt grooviness to our friend Ray Rodriguez, man. That's right. Puerto Rasa TV. Puerto Rasa. Right. La, La, Ray. La Historia. <laughs> La Verdad. What's up, Ray? Up, TV, Ray? man, it's going to launch Rosa. next year. It's right. streaming and it's also television, just streaming like Clandestine television. Live. We just showed you we have a television network. Look at this. We okay. can stream content. Show. Did you see all yeah. that? Did you see that? Did you guys yeah. see all those clips? Yeah, News yeah, anchor. Glasses on now. That's Goodness. right. But, you know, we have a lot of friends here that help out. <laughs> Wamp TV, big we shout out for friends. this one, guys. Wow, look at all that editing that Mike did. Brad. Brad on the Follow Your Bliss Media. Your bliss media. Tony. Just Tony on Are You Awake, man? man. Look at all these awake? guys. A they all have audio. slogans and A hits. And audio. Miguel, yeah. thank you, Awake Man. Yeah, Miguel man, Verde Productions. Dang, that's a lot of friends. Verde Video Productions. Lots of Front friends. Man, a lot of friends. Special, clandestine. A, a special you special, special shout out to Frank and Ryan, man. Thank you, Frank and Ryan. Hey, thank you, Frank and, and Ryan. Spirit Nation. Thank you, Eric. Spirit Nation. Spirit Nation. That's right. Do we? I think we have another Spirit Nations video later, but uh, no, you know, there's no later. On, we're out of here. No, I mean later. You got it. a lot. Watch it. There's more, content. There's more content. Yeah, you more time. We have an exclusive oh, with Scotty Clifford coming up. Exclusive. Shout out, Scotty. Hey. It's a clandestine live after hours. That's a lot of friends, though. That's right, clandestine so shout live. Out. Global healing Whoa. event. Shout out to our friends. Yo, to my friends. Always on my mind. I think of friends mostly all the time. I think of you, friend. You're on my mind. Friends are always on my mind. I think of 
was on my mind. Friends, that's the only time of day you, friend, you're on my mind. I remember when I was young, times were so much fun. Had no real cares in the world. As the days they went by, to be happy I would try. But the thought always faded from my eyes. Told me something, always have your fun. Remember where it is that you come from. People in your life, you might even take a wife. Just a few will be the win it all now. Friends are always on my mind. I think friends most the other time. And then you, friend, you're on my mind. Friends are always on my mind. Mostly all the time, I think of you, friend. You're on my mind. Groove up to me, come on. That's right, baby. Always on my mind and friends mostly all the time I think of you, friend, you're on my mind Friends are always on my mind I think of friends mostly all the time I think of you, friend, you're on my mind Friends are always on my mind I think of friends mostly all the time I think of you, friend, you're on my mind Come on, one more time, come on Friends are always on my mind I think of friends Mostly all the time I think of you, friend You're on my mind Three, four. I know true friends are hard to find In my heart, in my soul, and mind I know true friends are hard to find In my heart, in my soul, and mind I know true friends are hard to find In my heart, in my soul, and mind I know true friends are hard to find In my heart, in my soul, and mind products coming out we have a chance to donate a chance support us as we travel the nation bringing emergency relief and information and, and love in this important time all right i want to thank uh, personally thank you buddha for gracing us it was awesome you know we're gonna yep. have a giveaway the goal is is uh we have a honka ceremony coming up and at this time i'd like to invite you buddha as a brother as a friend and we will have a blessing right and we will trade these gifts that we've exchanged. They symbolize friends to family. And we talk about that, right? Friends on Facebook, man. Friends, a little while ago, it was just a social, it was a social media network, man. It was, social, it was only that. But now, as you go from friends, man, to family. Yeah, follow, like, and share. That's right. It means a lot, man. From our heart to yours, we're bringing you into family as honka. And also at this time, last minute, uh, announcement, if you will, to the public, not last minute, but letting you know. Also, Crow, I'd like to announce that we're going to have a honka ceremony and a, a traditional ceremony. If you're, if you're okay with that, we'd like to bring you in, into the family as clandestine, you know, family. You ain't going to get rid of me now, so. That's right. Happy Father's Day. Thanks, man. Happy Father's Happy Day. Happy Father's Day. Happy yeah. Father's Day, Buddha. Happy Father's Day, Dave. Happy Thank Father's you. Day, everyone. Miguel, Anthony, all right, Tony. Yeah, I want to wish a happy Father's Day to all of the musicians that have blessed the airwaves, all the groove recordings with clandestine. Man, through the years, we've worked with a lot of folks. You can look it up. We have many we YouTube catalog. pages. We got catalog. Man. Many, many twi Twitter pages. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> all these things, man. Look it up, dude. It's going to add up when you look at it. It's been organic for years. As you see, this is the first time we're coming out, and as we exchange gifts with Scotty Clifford as well, my cousin, we want to express a giveaway. 
and at a time we will go and actually do that in person, but at this time a ceremony and exchange was all we could do considering the COVID-19 emergency response and safety, but much love to my, my cousin, Scotty, and as we go up to the Dakotas at some point, Crow, you'll meet my other family, and uh, we'll do some blessings, right? Andrew will get a Lakota name, because Andrew, we're asking you to be Honka as well. I believe you've earned it at this point. Right. He's been back there Thank putting the guys. backbone yeah. in back there, guys. <laughs> All right, right, clandestine live. We're going to come back with more episodes, more content. So That's right. We're going to take a short We're break as far as live. We're not done, man. Share this it's episode. the clandestine live All after, after hours exclusive with Scotty Clifford coming up next. We're going to bring him in live. Clandestine live global healing event, June 21st, 2020. Thank you, everybody, Thank for you joining us. Thank, Thank you, friends. Thank you, friends. Thank you, friends. We'll see you next time. All right. Woo. Spirit It's not about fame, it's not about power, it's love is our true name. 